Greetings everyone, welcome to another Minifig Monday. Today's is going to be pretty fun, especially for you Black Tron fans. The classic Lego theme from the 80s. And um, this is the evil mech. He came kind of out of nowhere in series 11. And that was technically, I guess, a Christmas series. I don't know. I don't think it came out in December, but I don't know. I just had this feeling that it was like holiday theme. There was a lot of, there was a lot of Christmas figures, I guess, in that series. Um, but this is my favorite of, of the series 11. We got so many from that particular series. I don't know. It just ended up that way. Um, but here's the evil mech. Um, they actually have done quite a few mechs since this one. It, well, this wasn't the first one of this style. That um, honor goes to this guy, Heroic Mech, from Series 9. So this guy was the first. So this was the the hero version. And then they have the evil one here. So this one is awesome. It um, It's really cool looking. Um, it does have the Black Tron logo on its chest right there. That's the little triangle symbol thing. So apparently that's from Black Tron, which is from decades ago. So it's like this really old theme. Another character that has that is the, of course, the Bounty Hunter, you remember? He has that on his chest right there. It's bigger so you can see it more. Um, so this one is from Series 19, of course. It's my favorite figure of that series. Um, so they, they, they're they very similar looking a little bit, of course. Um, but the difference is this one's a bounty hunter and this one is a robot of some kind, some kind of, I don't know, sci-fi android. We don't really know. There's like a biography on him. It's it's brief. It, apparently he comes from some sort of Blacktron space base. I, I don't know. But whatever the case, he looks Dang cool. I'll spin him around. He does have arm printing. Yes, he does. One of the... F I may, he might be one of the f um, the few evil characters to have a to have arm design printing. Nothing on the back, unfortunately. It's very boring. But you can see the de design of his helmet and the, uh, his armor. There actually is pegs. Or not pegs. Um, like... Um, just little... What are those called? Like notches? No, they're little, um, little rods to hold accessories, uh, like things that you can clip on the back. But he doesn't come with that. It's just a thing that you can do. Uh, something he does come with is the little gun, which is not new, but um, it's most it's meant to represent the old style of Lego blasters. You know, back in the the early days of classic space in Blacktron, where they had these really like just a megaphone with a, a cone on the end and that was that was it that's your weapon and this one's cool it does have the the lime neon trans light green cone uh which is his only accessory uh it's okay i don't think he needs anything else uh the heroic mech actually didn't come with anything uh, i guess he was too cool for that um there actually is printing on the torso it's actually hidden by the armor we'll talk we'll look at that uh, later I think the best part of this character is definitely the design. I think it just looks really awesome. Um, it just looks really menacing and like intimidating of a character. Um, it's got some nice printing on his helmet with this really cool mouth guard that looks really cool. It reminds me of Grievous kind of because it's got like the four tiny, uh, the four like, I don't know what you call those, like a mouthpiece? I guess. Um, he does have, his head is very unique. It's very weird. You'll see that. He does have a red targeting sensor thing that's really cool. And you see a little bit of lines. That, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, there's actually printing on the top of his armor piece, believe it or not. There is a little bit to see. So right there, if I zoom in here, you can see it right there. It's like a little bit of silvery armor printing to add to him which is cool. Uh, you'll notice if you look up close here, my copy is a little bit beat up, but not, there's no scratches or anything. It's just, it's a little bit older of a figure, at least for me. 
but that just makes him more awesome because he's battle damaged a little bit, which is cool. I love the Black Tron logo. That's cool. Um, his leg printing is very nice. It's pretty detailed, actually. Um, where it's showing, like, I don't know, green armor? I'm not exactly sure. But let's talk about his arm printing. Um, before we do that, though, I love his color scheme, which is just black and green with a little bit of silver. It's just, it looks so good. Uh, his arm printing is really, del it's really intricate, actually, for just this character. I don't know why they chose him of all people to give the arm printing, but that's really awesome. It's got this, like, double shoulder pad look where it's, like, separate sections with two arrows. That looks very cool. Uh, I love that. And, like, they didn't need to add that, but they did, and I love it. And the accessory is okay. Um, it definitely isn't the best thing, but it's still pretty cool to get that. Um... There's no printing on the back of the torso. There is no alternate face, uh, which would make sense. or wouldn't make any sense for this character. Um, but let me see. You might want to see the helmet. Let me take... Okay, this is the part where it gets really weird. Yeah. What is going on with that head? Um, hold on. Let me give you a look at the helmet up close. Here's the helmet. It's pretty much the same as the heroic mech. And there's also the other robot, the, the laser robot from series 15. So they're all kind of the same family, I guess. Of They all have the same parts, but different, you know, versions. So the laser robot was silver and black. So I don't know. Maybe it was a good one. I might want it. That's one of the figures I really regret not buying. Uh, anyway, we got this helmet here, which is pretty cool. It only has the two prints on the front. And that's it, but it looks great, doesn't need anything else. And it does kind of slope in the back, which looks cool. So I love the helmet. Um, but here's the head, which looks very whack. Um, it looks very creepy. Uh, I, it just looks so weird. It's got this lime green color, which looks great. And it's got these this cool targeting sensor with a single um, little... A single, um, what is that, a radar? I don't know what that is, but it's like a single, like, targeting system. And it's got, like, these lines on the side. Again, there's no alternate, so it's just blank on the back, but that's fine. And, yeah, that head is very cool, but it actually, it's very strange. But it actually, it, it makes sense when you put on the helmet. Uh, if you don't have that on there, it looks very weird. Um, but let me actually take this head off so you can see there is more printing. Yes, there's more. It's actually hidden by the armor. So if I take the armor off, look at this. So here is the armor. This is what it looks like. If you're wondering, just slips over the, the, the neck. But look at this printing. What? They didn't need to do this. They put all this ridiculous detail that you're never gonna see because it's covered up by the armor but it just looks really cool you got all these gears and cogs and this exposed like mechanical board and this little triangle of green which looks great and the belt printing is cool too it lines up with the uh with that so i love that it looks great and I forgot to mention there is dark bluish gray. That's the color of the hands and the belt. Um, but, oh, I love this character. I want more designs of this character. Like, they need to make more of this Blacktron themed. Like, more of these sci-fi people, please. More of these, like bounty hunters or cyborgs or whatever the heck they're doing they need to do more of these um i'm surprised that they just threw them him into the series 11 and he's pretty underrated nobody talks about him anymore which is kind of sad um but yeah if you have this mech uh, as well it really goes great with with the two of them um which i sadly i don't have the laser robot one if i ever get a chance i probably will get it but like 
for now, I just like these two because they match really well. Uh, speaking of this guy, we'll do him soon. And we already took a look at the Bounty Hunter so that you can look at that. But that was the Evil Mech, an awesome figure, underrated, uh, but very detailed and pretty collectible, I'd say. Especially if you're a sci-fi fan or Blacktron fan, they should bring that back. Because I never got a chance. I wasn't even born when the Blacktron sets were around, so it'd be kind of nice to get one or two of those. You know, if they make a new set, they probably won't, but, you know, we can dream, right? So, you know, if they keep making these Blacktron figures, it'd be awesome to have this little squad of collectible figures of them. But... What do you guys think of the evil mech? Do you have him? Do you like the laser robot more? Or do you like the heroic mech more? Uh, let me know. And um, do you think they should do more of these? I think so. And yeah, that's about it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, yeah, more Minifig Mondays are coming. So stay tuned for those. I'll see you then. Take care. Have an awesome day.